everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you the air compressor I got and the air hose. Um, I was able to get this. I, I did a lot of shopping online, and I could get this air compressor for the same amount as I could for the one on Harbor Freight that doesn't come with the uh, the kit because I already had a airbrush, so I wasn't going to buy the kit. And um, even on eBay and Amazon, uh, I would have got a compressor of actually lesser quality and less warranty than I got this one for. This air compressor came with a two-year warranty within the first 30 days. If there's any issues or problems, I send it back. They reimburse me for the shipping and handling to their uh, shop, which is, I believe it was in California. And... Um, yeah, and then after the third, first 30 days, I pay for the shipping to them, but they pay for, to have it shipped back, and I get a brand new unit. Um, unfortunately, even though it came to the same price as if it, I got the Harbor Freight one on sale, um, it didn't come with the black coiled hose that you get with a lot of these units. And uh, that's like a 3 to $4 hose from where I, from all the places I've looked some places have for like six to ten bucks, but three to four bucks, five bucks US is about average what you would normally pay for it. And I had talked to a lot of my friends who've been doing it, uh, using an airbrush for multiple years, and they said to get these nylon hoses a lot better. And this is just still got the um, twisty ties around it. I just put this together real quick. Um, There's a little bit more money, obviously, uh, but. It comes with the extensions, or the adapters, I'm sorry, not extensions. Um, so depending on what kind of compressor you're using, uh, depending on what kind of airbrush you're using, all the little doodads you needed were there. I just had to take these off for this compressor and for this airbrush. And it works great. Um, the air compressor came with an instruction book. Uh, I already opened up and looked in there. Nothing super major and yeah keep it look at it once real quick and that's pretty much all you really need to do uh, it's nothing super important so we're not going to go into that uh, on the hose itself that's the uh, company I think that makes the uh, air hose uh, 10 feet nylon braided 316th air hose blah 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 do not remove because why they have important information on here do not push put on be do not put it above 85 psi because this is what it's rated for. You better rate your children. Brass components may contain lead. It's known in the state of California. It's blah 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 to cause cancer. Oh shit! It's made in China. If it doesn't come with lead, you pay too much. So I already got this compressor set up. It should go. It's already plugged in. I've already tested to make sure it works. That's the worst than doing a video. And then something doesn't work. And hopefully, I can zoom in here. I'm going to have to manual focus. Oop, too far. This one looks like it's got a sweet spot, and the sweet spot's not that sweet. Um, I guess that's probably as good as you're going to get. But uh, it's just below the 40 marker. That Right where the line is, it's just like a hair behind, below the actual 40. That's 50, 60s, blah, 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 blah. And then obviously it descales back there. Now, I'm going to take my earbrush. I'm just going to start running it so you can hear how loud this is. It's not very loud. I don't know if the mic's going to pick it up. And it's going to seem really loud, but it's really not. So I turn it on. Start growing, and it goes, oh, I had it off. <laughs> All right, so get this off, recompress back up. Now, I can get down to just about 20 PSI, and it's going to sit there. You would normally let this thing go for this long. And that's how it works. Uh, so yeah, you would never really spray for that long, more than likely, before letting go of the trigger. But if you noticed, it dipped right down to the 20 and stayed right there. So you can at least get a continuous 20 PSI 
I had this jacked up to like 60 PSI and it went down to pretty much the 20, 25 area and kind of just hung up right there, which is fine for uh, miniature airbrush painting. Uh, if you take your airbrush off, uh, air will just go off the hose and out and this thing will just constantly run. So I'm going to do a little shaky cam here because there's something else I want to show you, but let me put this back to autofocus at the moment and zoom back out. Alright everybody, get ready for some extreme shaky cam. Oh, God, the world is going to end. Blah, 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 blah. I'll use the egg presser to set up the camera. So it'll give me a few moments. It's going to be shaky again. Uh, I'm not actually zoomed all the way out. I think that'll be good. Uh, now I'm not sure what you can actually see, so give me a second. Um, yeah, so I think it needs to kind of angle up a little bit more to there. Should be good. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And you can go bye bye. And then how do I get rid of that stupid thing? It's on the page somewhere. Haha, <laughs> here it is. X. All right. So this is the site that I bought it from. After extensively looking, this was the site that, at its normal price, had this air compressor for a whole lot cheaper. Uh, as you can see here, this is their main website, and they sell all types of arts and crafts type stuff, even stuff for baking, automotive, uh, self-etching spray paint. They have uh, airbrushes uh, kits that come with the presser and the different airbrushes and they have a whole slew of different things that you can pick. Uh, different types of airbrushes, obviously, that's probably more for car. Uh, different things for doing detailing your cars. Um, and then you have cleaning supplies, obviously. And they have different types of paints here. But let's get to what we really want to do. They, now, they sell airbrushes. And you can probably get the airbrush from somewhere else cheaper than this site. Uh, you got Ottawa, Master, Badger, Aztec, all these places. Um, so off to the left, I don't know if you can see that, uh, is the airbrush compressors. Now you go and you click airbrush depot, or depot, I'm sorry. And then my model is right here, TC20. And here's the other models that they offer, obviously with tanks and all that fancy stuff and if I click up there it's just gonna bring me right to here and uh, there's its price $79.98 I think they charged me 10 bucks for shipping it comes with a full two-year warranty like I said it goes into the specifications it's one five horsepower which is better than the Harbor Freight one which is a 1.8 horse so this is only one fifth of a horsepower where theirs is one eighth so you get a little bit more power out of here and um, this actually has a higher PSI rating not like you're probably really gonna use it but, you know, it's kind of nice to have a little extra. It's maintenance free and oil free and it's, it's pretty damn quiet. Uh, you can be pretty much doing this in your room uh, and somebody can be sleeping right next to you and probably wouldn't bother them unless they're such a light sleeper that when a frog farts, um, they wake up. You know, here's uh, one with the, the air tank and it's at uh, $109. Um, here's a bigger station. I think this one is a dual. Um, compressor. I don't I think it has two connections. I'm not sure. Didn't really look into these things because I didn't want to spend more than a hundred bucks. This is 189. Uh, this one's 169. And then this big mamma jamma here is a 199. And then they got some other ones, but these don't come with air filters. And these are probably just for your fingernails and cake things and the thing they call the gray elephant. Um, some of the really cheaper uh, models. Oh, this one comes with a air compressor or water trap at ninety nine dollars. So there's there's a different bunch of different ones. Ones that you can plug in to a wall outlet, super portable. Plus you can buy the um, 
water traps and then they have the um, yeah, this one here's the water trap I believe you hook up right to your ear hose just before your hair hair brush and this one's the one you hook up right to the actual um, air compressor itself so and have, they have stuff here to show you the other stuff in their market here on the right now another nice thing that they have here um, give me a second aha here it is stencils so a lot of you might be looking for stencils um, I will at one point in time be looking for stencils myself now I do not know if these stencils on the site are cheaper than anywhere else um, I haven't price checked and hunting and looking but they do they do sell stencils but some of them are going to be more for your sides if like your tanks for motorcycles um, probably stuff that you could probably get away with using on scenery or a display board or diorama probably not really going to be the size to put on a Space Marine shoulder pad or uh, other small miniatures unless you go into the fingernails itself and not the tattoos and the dragons and the multi layers and they're really cool stuff I mean um, check out the skulls here real quick I kind of show you what these different things look at look like it let's go into the fingernails as these are probably the most uh, useful to us so and you go in here and they have them set up as sets as you can see here so I would suggest going looking through and finding the sets that have stuff that you want if you find that there's stuff in each set that you want you can probably buy this whole set which was 249 it's a lot of money to drop down but like I said if this is a cheaper place to buy all the stuff then hey and they do sell international you can buy all the stencils then for that much money and then they have the stuff for Ottawa and them um, for nails and here's the templates here for those uh, and the prices are six bucks each for each one of these templates um, here's more of them these this is a four-day holiday pack for 23 nah, 59 um, this one's another three pack and then they have these um, templates with are they trying to maximize the space for 769 only unknown that's an interesting price so lots of stencils in here um, kanji swirls um, a lot more stuff down here uh, it's, you know, hoppy Easter you know, all types of crazy stuff now if you want to actually look at any of them you can click on any of these um, let's go to one of these bigger sets because these these sites sets here are really nice when you click on them to look at them um, so we'll click on one of these and the reason I say this is really nice is they show you um, what they would look like on a fingernail all used up and if you see here here's the cross and then if you look here there's the cross but you don't see the little dots well here's the little dots so they're showing that you can mix and match any of these things on the stencil and put them here on what would have been a fingernail so here's the little eye pop looking type things or spoons and there's a whole bunch of them there stars so you can get a nice color look at what these stencils look like and how how you can use them and these probably be really good like here's a cross with leaves and they did some white leaves and some black leaves uh, here's probably the leaves right here and there's the cross um, but uh, these probably would look some of these would, patterns here that they have would look really nice on like a cape um, on some of your miniatures depending on how big um, these actual patterns are like some of these floral patterns would be really nice ideal a great way to get in some nice um, patterns onto your cape so they're not so plain and you don't have to do um, quite so much freehand especially if you're not good at uh, freehanding like myself like uh, here's uh, three like 
I would want to say roses, but they're not. Um, I kind of more like a blossom. And there's two leaves right here. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it. So let's see if I can find it on the wheel right here. And it looks like they added more blossoms from that stencil, but they didn't put the leaf in. So they must have blocked up the two leaves and only left it on the very top. Um, but that would be great at the corner of like a um, of a cape, which is really nice. Tilt it, turn it a little bit more, maybe. Like I said, I'm not really able to see. Oh, yeah, you could have you could have seen all that. So, really good way to see all these stencils and find out which ones you like. So even if you can find these stencils somewhere else for cheaper and you might not be able to see what they look like, here's a great site to come check these out. Like I also said, they also have the um, self-etching spray paint primers on their site. Um, so definitely go on and give TCP Global a look. Um, I believe Wargaming Consortium has also kind of put a thing out about getting stuff from these guys. Um, you get uh, there's they got deals for 50% off shipping depending on how much money you spend and all types of other stuff and like I said they take all types of cards and they do the Google checkout and all that good stuff and they do international shipping well I'm gonna try to hopefully I didn't make this too long of a video everybody uh, hopefully I shared some stuff here that you got uh, might interest you and uh, happy wargaming talk to you all later Hey, just a quick side note, everybody. Um, I'm going to put a link down below in the doobly-doo, I believe is what it's called, of a YouTube video that does a really good job on explaining to you how to clean your airbrush thoroughly well and when you need to clean certain parts of it. And everything this person does, and this is a professional airbrush artist that does stuff for major companies and uh, he's going to show you how to clean your whole entire brush using simple chemicals uh, that are not a harsh chemical, so they're very safe. To, it's very safe to use um, the chemical and items that you may have around at your house to clean it with, or you can easily go to your local corner drugstore and purchase all the stuff he's going to uh, show you to use for probably five U.S. dollars or less. So please check that out and uh